Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today are the bold and the beautiful Steffi, Finn, Hope, Liam, Paris, Zend and Carter celebrate the holiday with Brooke and Ridge. Sheila and Deacon imagine their perfect Thanksgivings of a Chinese takeout at Brooke's place. Steffi and Finn arrive and wish Ridge, Brooke, Hope and Liam a happy Thanksgiving. They joke over Hope bringing Grandma's favorite dish, which is a tradition and talk about the kids being upstairs with Amelia. Liam thinks it's really nice that they're all together, especially now. In Shayla's room, Deacon laments that she's not even supposed to be associating with her, and now he's spending the holiday there. Shayla's no happier about it than he is and declares that they should be celebrating Thanksgiving with their children. Deacon says Brooke's having the big event at her place. Hope's going to be there, and he was hoping to score an invite. He's stuck there with Sheila when he'd rather be with his daughter. At Brooke's place, Zend and Paris arrive, as does Carter, who asks Ridge if he's sure about this and comes bearing a peace offering. Carter and Paris step aside. She's glad he decided to come. He is too. Happy Thanksgiving, Paris. Brooke calls everyone together. She and Ridge want to welcome everyone to their home for what will be a fantastic Thanksgiving. As the festivities continue, they dish on football scores and Zend kisses Paris. Across the way, Brooke, Ridge, Hope and Liam talk to Steffi and Finn about the revelation that Jack is his biological father and lied to his mother. Finn makes apologies on behalf of Lee, who doesn't feel like company right now. Hope guesses her father wishes he could be there. Ridge and Liam rush to mansplain why it's not a good idea. She knows but wishes it were different. At Shayla's, Deacon imagines going to Brooks, greeting Hope and Liam, walking over to shake his hand, and telling the kids are excited that Grandpa Deacon's there. Ridge joins them, along with Brooke, and tells him that Hope was right all along. He's a changed man. Brooke assures him he's family and pulls him in for a hug. Shayla tells Deacon to snap out of it. It's not happening anytime soon. At Brooke's place, everyone dons turkey hats. Ridge and Brooke watch their children and are glad to see them all happy. They've a lot to be thankful for. Hope and Steffi turn to look at Brooke and Ridge as they kiss. Steffi smiles and Hope looks a little wistful. In Shayla's room, she and Deacon eat Chinese takeout, and Deacon opens a fortune saying he'll become wealthy. He chortles, Daddy likes that. Shayla opens a fortune saying she's appreciated, and Deacon notes that her son didn't appreciate her enough to invite her to dinner. Shayla thinks if he had his way, he would have welcomed her with open arms. She imagines the Foresters greeting her at Thanksgiving. Brooke teases her about bringing sweet potatoes, Steffi asks to call her mom, and Finn declares that his mom has finally been accepted into the family. Deacon interrupts her reverie with, and then they call the SWAT team, and you get dragged out of the house. The end. Shayla thinks it could come true. That's all she needs, is to be accepted by her boy and his family. Deacon doubts the Forester will ever let Shayla within a hundred feet of their mashed potatoes, but she's convinced that one day they'll be with their families. At Brooks, Liam credits Finn for making Steffi happy and tells him he's glad he's a part of their family. Finn feels lucky to be a part of it. Steffi and the kids are his world, now more than ever. Nearby, Steffi and Hope are glad to be putting aside their differences and getting along. Finn rejoins Steffi, who tells him how amazing he is. They kiss and he wishes her a happy Thanksgiving. Ridge takes the floor to make a speech and teases Carter about being a player before assuring him he's his best friend. He talks about the challenges Hope, Liam, Steffi and Finn have overcome. He tells Brooke she's the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. He's the most thankful person there. He's thankful for her. Without you, I don't think I could breathe. I love you. They embrace. Brooke makes a toast to their bright future and tells everyone to go forward with kindness and gratitude in their hearts. Ridge concludes, let's eat. There is much love and laughter as they gather to eat their meal.